Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Daffer Bass TV. In this episode, I'm gonna be doing a review on the Pissafun Phantom Reel. Company sent me this reel and asked for my honest opinion about it. So I'm gonna give it to you in this video. And later on, we're gonna have like a casting shoot off with one of Bass and Coffee's casting reels. I think it is the Assassin reel very similar so I'm gonna put it to the test against that reel later on in this video so hope you guys enjoyed this video and let's get rolling hope you guys enjoyed that little unboxing edit so let's go ahead and talk about this reel for a little bit this is the PC fun phantom reel feels pretty good in my hands I can hold this all day long bass fishing that's a plus i think it is a low profile reel it feels like it because it fits in the palm of my hands pretty easily i like it so far let's go ahead and talk about it it is built with a carbon fiber frame or some sort of carbon it has six stainless steel ball bearings and one roller bearing this reel is super smooth it's got a gear ratio of 7.0 to 1 so the retrieval speed is pretty average for maybe uh, spinner baits or crank baits, anything really overall. It's just one of those overall uh, gear ratios that you want. It's good for jig fishing. It's got a triple carbon fiber drag system. The max drag is 17 pounds. It's got a dual brake system. It's got the outside magnetic brake system. In the inside, we have the centrifugal six pin brake system right here. You can adjust it zero to six on the dial. So that's a plus. It's got a really light machined aluminum spool, drilled slotted holes to make it super light and great for casting. It's got the carbon fiber handle right here and the EVA knobs, non-slip. Even when it gets wet, I believe it does not slip. So you got better grip. It's also got the rubber insert on the thumb bar. So that's a plus. It's got a clicking star drag as well as a uh, spool tension knob. So that's a plus. I like the clicking one so you know that you got your settings right and you know it won't slip because you'll hear the noise. That's pretty much it for the specs, but it does say it weighs in at about 5.7 ounces. So let's test that out really quick. Okay, we got a scale right here. Let's go ahead and power it on. Make sure it's in the pound and ounce mode. So let's take this reel. It said 5.7 ounces. So let's go ahead and weigh it. Okay, it's actually 5.6 ounces. So it's actually lighter than what it says. Of course, all reels could be different. This could be missing a part. You never know. I like that it is lighter and not heavier. So that's a plus. Definitely for sure. So it was 0.1 ounce lighter than what it claims to be. So that is a definite plus. Lighter reels are better. You can just uh, hold it all day long when you're fishing. So. I give that a thumbs up. It does hold 120 yards of 30 pound braid or 120 yards of mono. That's more than enough for bass fishing. That's pretty much all I have to talk about this reel. So far I give it a thumbs up just for the feel of it. I'm gonna get this spooled up with some fluorocarbon and get it rigged on one of my new rods. The favorite Phantom Series rod by John B. It is the rig series. What a coincidence, right? Bro, phantom rod, phantom reel. Bro, we're going outside and head down to the river and we're gonna see how far it can cast. So I'm gonna go grab B and C really quick and we're gonna put it against his Cast King Assassin reel. And maybe one of my Shimano's or maybe one of Bass and Coffee's Lose. You know how that video was. If you wanna check out that video, Lose vs Shimano, go ahead and click the card up above me here and it'll send you to that video. We'll put it up to the test, just a comparison. So I'm gonna spool this up with the same line. It's gonna have the same rod. So we will be good 
to go. Accurate. Let's go. Damn. Yo, what is up, guys? We're here at Watauga Lake. I actually came to Watauga Lake instead of going to the river because it was more open space, and there is absolutely no one here but me. I'm gonna get these reels dialed in first, and then we'll go ahead and start our casting comparability with the Shimano DC7 I brought. Stay tuned, because it may be a surprise to you. Got the Phantom with the Phantom Rod, and I got the Shimano DC7 with me. I'm gonna put it up to the test with these. Couldn't get BNC out here, because he had to work. So we're not gonna compare it to the Cast King, like I said, but subscribe to the channel, and that'll come up soon. So here we go. I'm gonna set the camera down and see how far these will cast. All right guys, I got this one dialed in and I'm ready to cast it. So this is the DC-7 by Shimano and it's on the seven foot favorite rod defender. I'm gonna go ahead and do two tries and we will measure both of them. And I do have it set to uh, fluorocarbon. Second time it was pretty much close to 100, 101. So that's the final score for that. Now we'll go ahead and do the PC Fun. Alright, guys, it's time for the PC Fun Phantom Reel. And I got it on the favorite Phantom rigged rod. It's the 72 medium heavy. Uh, it's almost the exact same thing as the Defender rod, just two uh, inches bigger. I've already got it dialed in to where I want it to cast. I got the outer magnetic brake to 10 and I got the inner brake to zero. I'm gonna go ahead and do the first cast. All right, first cast, kind of bird nest a little bit, but it got itself out after that hit the water line measure out. Now we're ready to reel. Alright guys, you're going to be surprised by this. 108. I reeled in 108 feet of line from that cast. That's pretty good. Um, let's go ahead and uh, take this off and then we'll do our second cast. I'm going to dial it in just a little bit more and we'll get the casting. I dialed it in a little bit. I got the inner one, the centrifugal brakes at um, three, and I got the outer dial at zero. And the knob pretty much stayed the same to the point where the spool doesn't move. So, drop rate's pretty good. So, here it goes. Last cast. That one went way out there. Go ahead and measure it. Zeroed it out. Let's go. Start. Go ahead and start reeling. I think I launched that like a mile. And that, it did not create any bird nest that time. So if you guys ever buy this reel, go ahead and put it on those settings and it'll help you out. Both these reels have 12 pound line. So, 
this is what we got right here 110 feet there you go 110 feet furthest, the furthest I've casted today I'll go ahead and do the DC7 again just to show you that it was not a fluke same user casting so this is 12 pound line on the DC7 go ahead and do that cast Got the measuring. This one hit 99. I give this piss fun the uh, casting test. Thumbs up. So let me know in the comments below if you guys would buy this reel. It is $70 on Amazon. But you can check it out down below in the description. There's a link to it, and there's also a link to their website if you want to know more about the reels or want to check out their other products. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will dab you in the next one. Keep fishing for.